God is with us all. How can you still believe that after everything you've seen and done, there has been too much blood spilt for there to ever be a, a God looking down on this slaughterhouse? No, trust me, this is truly the work of man, not some divine master plan. Haven't you had your doubts? If you tell me no, I know you're a liar. My first doubt started in the early hours of St. George's Day in 15, during the Second Battle of Ypres. I was with the Canadians at St. Julien in those days. It's understandable. 6,000 men lost in a day. Well, that was the estimated figure, but it wasn't the bullets or the mortars that got to me that day, no. It was the first time I'd been in a gas attack. Lord, I can still taste it now. We didn't receive any warning. It just came rolling into our trenches and consumed us on the wind like a yellow acrid fog. I barely got my hood on in time, but already my eyes were stinging and watering. I looked about. There were my men, vomiting, scratching at their throats, some even tearing at their own eyes before convulsing and choking to death. The lucky ones got a bullet before they choked on their own blood. At least the boy is quick. Sometimes. I wonder in years to come, what will people remember of this war? I hope they remember both the heroes and the villains. The good deeds and the bad. And what of my deeds? How will they be remembered? That I can't tell you. I just hope they don't think we killed without feeling or thought for what we did. But shame is eternal. I'm sure they'll remember our heroic deeds. But the names of cowards, deserters, will never be spoken of with pride or honour. Sorry, this is, this is disturbing for you. No, you've done nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, I have. I've run, and I've hidden, and I've played dead, and every time, it gets easier and easier to believe that you're not betraying your comrades. They would still be dead even if one more man were fighting next to them. Lieutenant, you'll be caught marshal for this! Not cowering in a ditch or crying like a child. I can't believe there are many still alive who can say they haven't kept themselves out of the firing line at one time or another. There are many who haven't. I suppose most of them are rotting away in no man's land, but they didn't run. They didn't hide. Well, we all make our choices. Good ones and bad ones. Fortunately, we have to live with the consequences. Sometimes we die because of them. Tell me. Do you think this damn war will ever end? The final battle will be over soon. And perhaps the boys will be home for Christmas. Uh, that would be a blessing. I'm sorry, sir. It's time. You're an officer. Time to do your duty. I'll never forget you. Nor are you. Captain Philip Lavelle Grimwood, you have been charged and found guilty of the act of cowardice and desertion in the face of the enemy. The sentence passed against you is that you be taken from this place of confinement and face a firing squad of His Majesty's soldiers. May God. I chose my fate, not you. I turned and ran. Nobody twisted my arm. I knew what I was doing. I left my men. They relied on me and I let them down. It's for my men that I deserve my final sacrifice, not for king and not for country. 
not even forgot. I'm glad we had these last few hours together. Be strong for me. Be strong for your men. Sir, the original command has arrived. Request. Thank you, Sergeant. We'll be along in a moment. Goodbye, Philip. So long, Edward. I hope you get home. They sound the fight slowly Did the rifles fire for you As you lowered you down Did the bugles sing the last post in chorus Did the pipes play the flowers of the forest 